guys and we're back with another jojo medicos video so we have john pierre Fonoreff, part five that's why he has a wheelchair the alvelo crippled him and silver chariot also from part five because if you notice really closely very no not very different uh, like sort of different yeah the design is like slightly like what more unique or like more different i guess so i bought these both in japan i'm pretty sure you can also get them at plaza japan for relatively cheap there's a price tag right over here so john pierre Ponoreff, he has a really big box because of his wheelchair and so for chariot they have like this the standard box here's also the accessories and oh my god uh we we have silver chariot's face mounting i'm pretty sure this is when Ponoreff accidentally like used the requiem arrow and then like silver chariot started melting in the chariot requiem i don't know man uh kind of gory but it's all right and then here we have a suitcase slash laptop thingy i think so well let me show you all right there's the head so right over here on the laptop suitcase thingy, we have like a laptop which shows all of Bucciarati's gig. So if you're wondering why the images here are from the manga and not the anime, nearly all of these figures were made before the anime came out, like before Phantom Blood in 2013 came out. Like these are really old figures, so yeah. We'll put Silver Chariot's melting face right over here on um, Ponoref's laptop thingy. And let's go. Uh, first, John Pierre Ponoref. Ooh, wow. This, this is a really big figure, I'm not gonna lie. All right, Ooh, let's go. I haven't, I haven't opened them yet, so this will be pretty exciting, honestly. I just realized you can kind of use a wheelchair for like a Johnny Joestar figure, so that's pretty cool. All right, ooh, all right, the stand. Yeah, I'll stand when he has a wheelchair. Very useful, Medicos. All right, so anyways, it's, it's a free stand. It's gay, all right. So uh, let me take this off real quick. All right, so let's get into the real figure first. Yeah, by the way, I mentioned Diablo uh, kind of crippled him in part five. Kind of had a run-in with the boss, like when he tried to get like the Requiem Arrow. This is part six for and oh my God. He looks pretty gruesome. First of all, he is nearly blind in one eye. Second of all, uh, right over here, he kind of lost one of his pinkies. Third of all, he has robot legs. Yeah, so that's why he needs a wheelchair. <laughs> He tried to find a Requiem Arrow, but Diablo kind of found him and then brutally attacked him with King Crimson. Polnareff is now disabled. Dang. All right, so here we have a lot more um, mature Polnareff than uh, what, like, part three Polnareff showed us. And, whoa. All right, here is the wheelchair. I'm just put Polnareff in it real quick. All right, here we go. Uh, we have wheelchair Polnareff or disabled Polnareff. Whichever way you want to look at it. <laughs> so here we have his um his outer head. Let me show you guys. A weird thing about it is like if you look closely, I just realized like the yelling head's white eye. If you look really closely, it's super small, and I have no idea why. It almost looks like he's like having trouble saying things. He might, but like man, oh my god, uh, it it just looks weird. And uh, ooh, all right, so we have like a rapier or no, no, it's not a rapier. It's like a fen it's a fencing sword for Polnareff. I'm pretty sure he can also hold like the uh, the sword, but I'm pretty sure this is mainly for the Requiem Arrow. This might actually be mainly for the Requiem Arrow, uh, which is with Silver Chariot. And right over here, we have a uh, sort of a bleeding hand. And this is probably Polnareff after he pricked his hand with the Requiem Arrow. We have a uh, pointing hand show you pointing hand like this a reaching out hand and his hand with the cut off pinky so he can kind of like i don't know i think this hand is like supposed to like rest on like the wheelchair i'm pretty sure let me turn it up so there we go all right this is a really high quality figure i'm not gonna lie this is supposedly like super old like 2000s old i'd say this is really decent for like a regular polar figure. I'm gonna see if I can put him in like any part. Where's the box? Wait. All right, guys. So here we have the stand, and uh, I also finally figured out uh, how the rapier goes improperly. You're supposed to take out his hand, attach the little sword to it. So this is actually a really high quality figure. Yo, the wheels can spin. Let's go. Let's go. W figure. W figure. All right, guys. So I'd say this is a really high quality figure, like just in terms of paint job like end accessories like they're pretty good but i'd say you should also really get so 
silver chariot because that's where all of like Ponoraf's real cool accessories lie. So that's why I got both him and silver chariot. Let me try just display regular Ponoraf. All right. So um, this is uh, Polnareff without his wheelchair. I'd say this is pretty good. This is like actually really good. Like the legs detail, especially for the hair and the robot legs are like actually insane. Ooh. All right. I can't really put him like any poses other than the basic ones because like I said, all his really good accessories are with Silver Chariot. So um, let me bring that out for you guys. So it's time to open Silver Chariot. All right. All right guys, it's time for Silver Chariot over here all right um, now silver chariot has a lot of accessories specifically for polar silver chariot comes with like the requiem arrow but like no hand to like hold it all right stan's not here because i opened it already for some uh, issues i thought there was what the figure but hey turned out okay so all right we have a lot of figures and i mean a lot and oh um one of the hands what flying off in here so that's that's not good. All right. You might notice already we have a lot more cooler accessories uh, than Polnareff had, uh, besides the wheelchair. So we have his fencing sword and guys, the Requiem arrow. Holy cow! So let me show you what I was talking about earlier. Yeah. So Polnareff has hands that can hold the Requiem arrow, which is awesome. And all right, there you go. I noticed immediately that the legs on Silver Chariot, I'm pretty sure they're different because Ponoref lost his legs and like, I'm pretty sure like stands retain like the same injury their users do. So we have a lot of hands. Let me show you all. So Silver Chariot also has like a hand with a peg hole open, but not so he can hold a Requiem arrow so he can hold his fencing sword or w whatever it's called, man. I, I, I don't know names, man. All right, guys, I'm so there we go. We have a fencing sword up here like this let me show you all yep so we have a reaching out hand a regular closed fist a uh another reaching out hand i guess yeah and one more hand to um also hold the rapier i have no idea why they have two of them but yeah all right so now we move on to Polnareff's accessories. We have the Coco Jumbo Turtle. Uh, this one's with the key. And this one is without the key. Yeah, um, this one's without the key and he's also like a little bit in the shell. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, we have the, um, pretty sure it's the Mr. President key. Guys, I don't know a whole lot about Coco Jumbo or Mr. President. So like, I may be inaccurate, but I'm pretty sure this is the key for uh, Mr. President. It's pretty small. Yep, there you go. All right. So, this is it for Silver Chariot. Let me try put him in a pose since I don't know where the stand for Silver Chariot went, although I probably can't find it. Let me try put Polnareff in a wheelchair and then have Silver Chariot in Polnareff's stand. That sounds confusing. My bad. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let me show you guys a pose. So, Polnareff and Silver Chariot. Yo, guys, this actually looks sick, NG. Oh, this looks sick, man. We also have Coco Jumbo right here. So the laptop thingy right over here, he can also have on his like his lap or something. I have no idea. Give me a second. All right. Um. So he's looking at the laptop. Silver Chariot is also right next to him. All right. This, this is a pretty cool pose. And now let me get the Requiem arrow for Polnareff. So this. Uh, Polnareff with the Requiem arrow is probably gonna be my go-to pose with him. Also, the moment when like he gets his hand pierced by the Requiem arrow is like the Silver Cherry melting face thingy. So yeah. All right. So use Polnareff getting his hand pierced by the Requiem arrow. Oh! Oh my God, that scared me. I thought the sword bended for a moment, and that would have been not good. So yeah. All right. We got Polnareff and Silver Chariot having his face melt because I don't know why. Guys, they, they really gotta make a Chariot Requiem figure. 
Bro, that would be so sick. Oh man. All right. I really hope they do actually make one because we don't have stands like Made in Heaven or Sea Moon. That kind of sucks, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, so this will be it for this video, pretty much a few cool poses. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. And if you enjoyed these figures or me opening them or both, like and subscribe. Bye.